So good day everyone. My name is Abigail Louise B. Zamora and I am your teacher for today. So before we start our class, I do really hope that you have a good day or your day turned out well as you expected. And let's start our lesson. And oh, um, before we proceed to the half to a lesson, I want to ask you something. What comes first in your mind when I say these words? Um, what comes first in your mind when I say the word beach or house? What comes in your mind when I, when I say the word or you hear the word school or sports? What comes in your mind when I say or you hear the word place or country or even a person? So if you do have all in mind of what I have just what I have just said, then we will answer it later after our discussion. After everything I will about to discuss. So let's start. Our topic for today, or our discussion, or what I'm about to discuss, is what is noun. So noun refers to the name of things, places, or person, even an idea, thoughts, or expression of a person. So what are examples of noun? It can be your name, or my name, which is Abigail. It can be an animal's name or your pet's name. It can be a name of a place, either London or Philippines or any country you would like. Or place or specific place you would like, even your town, it is a noun. Um, idea like love or expression like love or thoughts, your thoughts, that is noun. So there are eight types of noun. What are these? It is a proper noun, the common noun, the concrete noun, the abstract noun, the collective noun, the countable and uncountable noun, and lastly, the compound noun, which is two different forms. First in the list, of course, is the proper noun. Proper noun is the actual name of a person, place, animal, things and others actual name like my actual name my name is abigail i'm not just a person but i am abigail i'm not just a girl but i am abigail or it can be your name it can be jessica alexandra john any actual name for the actual name of a place like London, South Korea, that is an actual name. That is proper noun. It is considered proper noun. Third on the list is the concrete noun. Concrete noun are nouns that we can be physically touch. That we can touch, okay? We can touch. An example of it is um, it can be a table, a chair, a cabinet, or even our phones. That is concrete noun. Always do um, bear that in mind. Next on the list is the common noun. Common noun is the general or generalized name or noun for the person, place, thing, or animal. Fourth in our list is abstract noun. Of course, if there is a noun that describes the things that we can't physically touch, there is also a noun that describes the things that we can't physically touch. That is abstract noun. It is It refers to the ideas, to the thoughts, to the expressions of a person. Mostly, um, an example of this is um, our mood today. It can be, um, we can be happy, we can be sad, we can be lonely, we can uh, feel excitement, we can feel loved, and anything that we can physically touch. Mostly, it comes from our inside of our hearts. Mostly, not mostly. Fifth on the list is collective noun. Collective noun denotes a group of individuals. It can be singular or in plural. 
And the example of this is um, family, which consists of family members of um, father, mother, and their children. It can be a peer or, or your colleagues or even friends, your schoolmates, your classmates, or what is inside the classroom that consists of people. That is collective noun, group of individuals, collective noun. Seventh on the list is uncountable nouns. Of course, if there is countable nouns that describes to the things or nouns that is countable or we can count, there is also uncountable noun that describes to the things that we can count. But this needs measure words to quantify them. An example of it is people. Since we don't know what or how many specific people is it describing. Sixth on the list is countable nouns. Of course, countable nouns from the word itself, these are the nouns that are countable. These have a plural and singular form. An example of this is my fingers or our fingers, which consist of 10 fingers. It can also be 80 sheets of papers in a table. Or it can be a 5,000 pesos in my wallet. Anything that is countable with a specific money in a singular or plural form, it is countable noun. Seventh on the list is uncountable nouns. Of course, if there is countable nouns that describes to the things or nouns that is countable or we can count, there is also uncountable noun that describes to the things that we can count. But this needs measure words to quantify them. An example of it is people. Since we don't know what or how many specific people is it describing or it is or referring, we should use measure words. Example is many people or each people that is uncountable noun last on the list is compound noun compound noun consists of two or more words to become one word and each compound noun acts as a single unit and can be modified by active and other noun there are three different forms of compound noun which is the open or spaced hyphenated and closed or solid open or space means there is a space in between the words to become one word an example of it is apple tree fire drill um tennis show made of honor music box and um tennis court those words that has space in between them to become one word is open or spaced compound noun the next form of compound noun is hyphenated, which means there is a hyphen in between the words to become one word. An example of it is mother-in-law, um, runner-up, kilowatt hour, self-confidence, or birds of prey, father-in-law, and other stuff. Those words with hyphen in between the words is hyphenated form of compound noun. Last on the forms of compound noun is closed or solid, which means the combination of words doesn't have a space or hyphen, unlike the hyphenated or open or spaced compound noun. An example of it is football, database, catfish, underworld, upstairs, and other words. Again, Noun refers to the name of person, places, things, animals, and ideas. Also, noun has eight different types, which is the proper noun, the concrete noun, the common noun, the abstract noun, the collective noun, the countable and uncountable noun, and the compound noun. Proper noun, which consists of the actual name of a person, place, things, and animals. Concrete noun is the generalized name of a person, place, things, or animals. Concrete noun are nouns that we can physically touch. An abstract noun 
are nouns that we can't physically touch. They are untouchable. Collective noun denotes a group of individuals. Countable nouns are things that are countable and have a singular and plural forms. Uncountable nouns are opposites of countable noun, which means we can't count them, and we need to use measure words to quantify them. Lastly, compound noun, which consists of two or more words to become one word, either noun plus noun or adjective plus noun. And each compound noun acts as a single unit and can be modified by adjective and other noun. Now let's go back to the questions I've asked you earlier before we do the discussions about nouns and its different types. It's eight different types. I've asked you earlier on what are your thoughts or what are the things that comes in your mind when you hear it or when you hear these things or when I tell these things. Um, example is it sports or the beach or house or classroom or even school. In sports, you can think of football, which is a compound noun, a closed or solid compound noun, or a tennis ball, which is an open space compound noun. In the beach, you can say a sand, which is an uncountable noun, or the water, which is an example of a concrete noun, which is touchable. In house, you can um, think of family, which is a collective noun because it is a group of individuals. You can think of chair in a classroom because um, it is also a part of a concrete noun. You can think of a student which is a common noun you can think of um your teacher or the name of your teacher which is a proper noun or you can even think of yourself as a proper noun if you're thinking of beach oh let's go back to the beach again if you think of peace or freedom and the beach peace and freedom is an example of abstract noun which is untouchable it is an expression or idea or thought of a person so it is an abstract noun if you're thinking of your money right now of how many money do you have it is a countable noun because you know the correct or right amount of money do you have so again those things that you have in your mind words in your mind is a type of noun which refers to the name of person, place, things, ideas, or animals. Now that we're talking about nouns and the different types of noun, the eight different types of noun, let's do a brainstorm activity. Pick a pair that you really want to be paired off and choose a movie that you like, whether you've already watched it or not. And look for the summary of it you can you can search it on google or you will do its own summary by your own selves and after that define the nouns or the different types of noun that is present in that summary of the movie you have chosen pick or define nouns as many as you can as many as you can find and define what type of noun it is, whether it is a proper noun, a common noun, concrete noun, abstract noun, collective noun, countable noun, uncountable noun, and compound noun. Or if it is a compound noun, define if it is an open or spaced, hyphenated, or closed or solid. Of course, you need to write down first the summary of that movie, the title of that movie, and then after that, you will define the noun, the different types of noun that is present in that summary of the movie you have been chosen. And of course, include the name of your member or your pair. After that, you will discuss your answer in front of the class 
so that I will know if you do really understand the topic which is the noun and the different types of noun and also if you really do listen while I am discussing. After that, we will have an assignment and this assignment is also connected to the topic or discussion that we had which is the noun and the different types of noun. So in your assignment, you will do an essay by pair and after that, you will also or you will still um, need to define the noun, the different types of noun and if it also a compound noun, you will also define if it is a open or space hyphenated or closed or solid type of compound noun. So thank you for participating in my class today. I hope you do have a um, good day or your day will turn out well as you expected. And yeah, God bless us everyone. Again, my name is Abigail Louise Bizimora, your teacher for today and thanks for watching. Bye!